this is our animal over there. So we had two designs, but the first one failed. So we had a design like our wind direction thing, where we have a pencil in a juice container with a sewing pin. pin. But that didn't work. It didn't spin properly. So then we switched to this design. And we have a wooden base. We have a nail, which is what our anemometer sits on to spin. Then we have two pieces of a bread tag and a bead. So, and then we have our What did we have to do to the eggshell so that we could actually oh, see right. it from the cabin? So, we couldn't see it from the window. So one of the eggshells egg is colored black, black so that we can count it. And the bottom needs to be just colored black. I, I meant for that to be the top, but it was the bottom for some reason. So we colored the whole thing so we can count it from inside. Yes. So, and now we have our rain gauge, which is opposite from our thermometer. So what this is, is it's basically a mayonnaise jar after with the top cut off. So so at first it was just a mayonnaise jar with the top cut off sitting on the table with nothing on it except for this. But then it blew over, over onto the ground. So we thought, well, it needs some weight on the bottom. So we put some sand in the lid and glued, hot glued the lid to the mayonnaise container. So, and now, this we didn't really have to change, it worked just fine. The, now the wind is blowing. Um, the, the trees are, the trees are in the north, north, so that is... The west, I think. Remember, mm -hmm. never eat soggy wieners. Oh, right. So it's pointing mm -hmm. east, east, right? We didn't really have to change anything to that, it just worked fine. We had to add some glue, but that was it. So this doesn't really tell the temperature. So, so we're going to show you the thermometer we use. This is the thermometer we created, which really tells us whether it's colder or warmer. So we're going to show you our thermometer. So it's, it's um, a little off because it's getting heat from the cabin. So what we did is we took we subtracted five from it so it's right temp, now it's showing it's showing three degrees past zero so um, this is our recycle weather station and why the animals would want a weather station is because with this they could tell where the wind was going in and with this, they would be able to, the birds would be able to know if the wind was too fast for them to fly or if it was safe to fly. This, they would know the temperature. <coughs> temperature and they would know if the winter was going to be bad, a very bad winter like in the book, or a sort of light winter. With this, they would know how much rain there is. Have a bit of a 